All right, everybody, here I am again, sitting in my truck and uh, gonna play with the ID5100. Uh, in this video, I wanna show you how to use the GPS system in the ID5100, or for that matter, any of your uh, probably ICOM radios so that you can overlay uh, the DPRS into APRS. So uh, I'm still kind of new at this, but here's what I've learned so far. First of all, uh, D-Star is not APRS, but it does interface with APRS using your GPS coordinates. So one of the things that it does it with is only when you actually uh, connect through a gateway and it actually transmits your location. So there's two different ways that you can uh, transmit your location. One is when you key down and two is when you set up a beacon. Uh, in essence, when you have the beacon going, what's happening is you'll have one side of your radio in the digital mode. You'll be connected to a digital reflector, or sorry, digital repeater. You can connect to a reflector or another machine, or even connect to the same machine, which will lock in the G spot on the, the G spot, the G spot in the eighth position of your. Uh, your signal which tells you the gateway is open. So if I'm on Santiago Peak and I connect to Santiago Peak What's happening is I open up the internet access between the two that when that happens when it shows gateway Then the signal goes out every time that I key down I'm putting out my position So the other way it happens is I can set up in the ID 5100 a, a beacon interval of three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes. Now on that, realize that every time that your radio is sitting at a beacon, it's in essence squawking. When it's squawking, it could squawk on top of somebody's QSO because it has no idea if somebody else is talking or not. So there's a lot of people that aren't a big fan of that. However, D-Star being dead star and we're trying to fix that, um, you know, let them get mad. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, <laughs> point is, is if you need it, then you can use it. So I've had some other people say, why in the world would I want to put my GPS position out there? Well, let me tell you why I need it. Um, do my summits on the air stuff have you seen on my channel. Uh, I am finding myself deep in canyons where my cell phone doesn't work. Uh, on my one of my last outing on East Twin Peaks, I'm still editing that video. Uh, when I was walking out of the canyon, I actually managed to kill a cell phone or a uh, HT battery and I was no longer putting out my position, no longer could send and receive messages via APRS. So once I got to my truck, all I would have had it done if I had the ID5100 was turn it on, make sure it's connected and key down or hit the beacon somehow and it would have pinged my position and then as I started driving I could have pinged it again and then my wife or family members looking at APRS.FI is where you go to look yourself up on APRS they would have been able to see hey the trucks moving you must be alive or somebody stole his truck one or the other um, so that's why I needed it um, I'm also finding that you're not able to send and receive messages yet if that features there I haven't figured it out and if I figure it out I'll share it with you but there I'm, I'm hearing a little bit of scuttlebutt that uh, you're not able to message back and forth with APRS and and D-Star uh, if that's the case, that's fine. Um, I'm more interested for me that my wife is able to check and see where the truck was last positioned and also if I'm uh, returning home or not. So there's some reasons why I need it. Um, you could use it for a variety of applications just like APRS. Uh, but the thing, the, the way most people probably use it, I would say, is they probably use it to where when they key down, they're actually transmitting their location, uh, which puts it out. Because it does tell you everything on APRS FI, the, the, the packet information. So... Uh, that's the advantage that I find with having DPRS, which is basically slang for APRS because it's Digital Positioning Reporting System. So every time you key down, it sends your position and all your information to the gateway and it locks it in. And that's how it's able to track where you're at. So now I'm going to show you uh, how to go ahead and set that up in the ID5100. And one mistake that I was making in the beginning that, that really caused a lot of frustration, I figured it out. And uh, that I'm going to show you right now. All right, once again, you notice that the radio is set up. I put simplex on the right side because uh, I like to have that up or, or the pop assist on the other on this side. Let me change bands to this side. You see how main switched over. But I want to zoom in on this. So this is uh, the digital mode right here. DV tells you you are in digital mode. Again, this is the repeater that I pretty much have my digital mode on all the time. And then CQ, CQ, CQ. So the first thing is I want you to notice that we are not in the gateway. See, not used. And I went over this in my prior video, which I'll link above, about how to connect to reflectors and gateway. But again, just a quick review. We're not in the gateway, so we are not putting out a position when we talk on that. Um, the only way we're going to put a position is if we key down through a gateway. So what do I want to do? I can simply go here 
and then do gateway and then I could use west and then I could find my repeater that I want to use in here and I will just come down here to Santiago Peak same exact one now and take note that it's it's from and to are the same I'm going to really quickly key down while the red light comes on you are question mark will pop up there it is so it's linked verify gateway so the gateway is open so I can look up the position that I just put out because I keyed down through the gateway so that's one way to get your, your signal out there so now well how do you set this up how do you get to where you want to be so the answer is you need to go into the menu you know, menu oops menu and then GPS everything you need is in GPS right here go all the way up to the top so the big thing is you see uh, GPS transmit mode is in DPRS it'll come factory oops I think I hit the wrong one it'll come factory NMEA but you want to use DPRS for this so when you hit DPRS again you'll see this is the big part right here transmit format see how it says position it came with it set to object with object you're not moving so position tells it hey use the GPS and then there you go uh, it'll, it'll put out the transmit information every time you go and then you can go into your position and I put it to truck I put dash 14 as my SSID so it's unique when I go into APRS.FI and you know, you'll see that overlay on this video how I put in KG6HQD-14 and that'll pull up this and then I chose my timestamp and you can play with all these settings right here hours minutes seconds date hours minutes whatever you want I just do day hours minutes you can change this if you wanted to but anyway so that's all you got to do so the biggest setting you need is the one I just showed you uh, to have it on position TX format is position and that's it back out of it and you're good to go now you can look at some of the other ones if you want to look up your position the cool thing with the ID 5100 if you look up it look what else it gives you it gives you the Delta Mike 1 3 Charlie Romeo your grid location and uh, a lot of people like to chase grid squares so there you go it puts that information out right away for you so that's kind of a neat little feature too um, and then anything else you want to look at you can go in all these menus it tells you all the different uh, satellites you're connected to and their strength now bear in mind, look at where this thing's mounted. This head is mounted inside my truck, as you've seen in my other videos, and I still get excellent uh, reception of the GPS, and that's all because it's in this unit right here. So that's it guys, that's, uh, that's basically the only setting you really have to do is change that transmit information from object to position, and boom, I was all of a sudden popped up online on the APRS.FI uh, website. Uh, and as I drive, it'll show speeds and all kinds of different things, altitude. So uh, be mindful that you are putting out security information when you're out there. So a lot of guys will elect not to, to turn this feature on. It's just something extra to do. Uh, I turned it on for a while, was playing with it. I may turn it on, turn it off. It depends upon uh, what I'm doing. Uh, but the big thing when I'm doing my summits on air stuff, it'll most likely be on so that the family can look me up if I'm overdue and they'll know right where the truck's at. So there you go, a quick down and dirty on how to uh, activate the, the ability to position yourself on APRS using DPRS, one and the same. So remember, APRS and, D, and digital DPRS are different. It's just an interface. You're really basically overlaying your digital position onto APRS. It, there's a, a, a system for it to talk to one another and that's how it's it's accomplished. So there's a couple uses for it. So hey, if you got something on this video, do me a favor, subscribe, uh, like the video, comments. I'll put a comment down below in there. I like to know what radios that everybody else is using. I like to know what reflectors people are on too. The other thing I like is if you make a comment, uh, leave your name and your call sign in there if it's not already in your YouTube handle. Uh, that way I remember, hey, I've talked to this call sign or I know this person. That way it kind of helps me get to know you when I'm doing my activations or even if I find you on D-Star. So I'm hoping to coordinate with more people out here on, uh, on D-Star and uh, get some QSOs going on and drum up some business and change it from Dead Star to actually D-Star and let's use it. Uh, and let's, uh, let's have some people upset some people on the way, all right? Just kidding. Okay, cool. 73, have a great day. See you in the next one.